Normandy, uh, <laughs> but uh, not everybody does that. But well, personally, with uh, with um, with, with uh, car cheese, I would go with uh, blue cheese mm. because th this fizziness, this strong, this power of uh, of, of, of uh, the whiskey will really go well with uh, the ting tingling, uh, the tanginess of uh, of a blue cheese, and which is also creamy. This is a Dansai blue we have here, uh, perfect, but can be also. I don't know, Stilton, or, but a creamy blue cheese will be, for me, perfect. But that's part, that's part of the fun of doing these stations. Sure. I mean, you can set up whatever cheeses, wherever in the world you are, you will have cheeses. So mm. pick out three, four, five of them and try them. Taste them with the whiskey. Actually taste a bit of cheese in your mouth and then taste the whiskey onto it and see how the flavours develop. OK, John, I bet there's nothing you can add to all of this, is there? <laughs> It's pretty thorough, wasn't it? It's pretty thorough, wasn't it? <laughs> you can stay quiet, have a rest for a second. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna open that butt in just a second. We're just going to do that in just a second. I just want to go to the staff before we do so. Uh, Vicky, just on this side here. Um, you, you've, you've only been with the company, what, five weeks or so? So a chance to drink some whiskey? Um, yeah, but I had a chance before I started as well, so that's OK. I grew up on Speyside, so oh. this is a bit of a change. <laughs> I should say a change for the better. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm going to go down the line here because some of the guys... What, 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 do you, what do you do here, first of all? Your name is? Peter McTaggart. Peter, what do you do? I uh, work in the warehouse. Uh -huh. And, and um, en enjoyable work for you? I mean, whiskey. I mean, do you drink much of it? No, not really, but I enjoy what I do, though. Yeah. Kind of put off... You've been put off it, have you, by working with it? Uh, be a, a wee bit, yeah, but... It's like working at the sweet factory and not eating sweets anymore. Uh, it's classed as an old man's drink as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, your good self, how long have you been with the company? Uh, 24 years. Wow! All that time. My favourite dram's not here, by the way. Sorry? My favourite of not on the table. What is your favourite? 15 year old. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of like that. I drank that one last time, it's good, isn't it? I like that. So you're a bit upset about this? No, not at all, no. I'm, I'm sure we can find one in here somewhere for you. Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you know where they are, right? Yeah? OK. <laughs> on the end, sir. It's yeah. James, isn't it? James McGregor, aye. Hi, James. You're going to be, going to be opening that, uh, that barrel for us in a minute? I'm going to open it for you, aye. All right. All right. We're going, to, we're going to let you go and do that in just a second. I know our friends uh, from Lafroy are enjoying things over there, but uh, we're going to set you off on your way. Thank you very much indeed, James, for doing that. So, quick question from Colin here. What's the best thing about working at Lafroy? So, here's, uh, uh, well, go back to our man who's been here for 24 years. What's the best thing about working at Lafroy? It's just a wonderful place to work in. Really? The scenery and... Yeah. The boys are all friendly. Uh -huh. yeah. Bit of a family thing going on. It's very family. Uh -huh. yeah. so look, even if they haven't... Even, definitely, you've only been here a little while. Well, and I've you... only been here five weeks, but it definitely is just like a big family here. Uh -huh. Everybody gets on well with each other. And we're all working for a great distillery here, so it's great to be a part of the team. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. saying all the right things. You've only just been here. <laughs> hey, you got that open. That's, that, was, that was quick and pretty soundproof. Uh, what's what's this, uh, this piece of apparatus we've got in here? What's it called? That's the, the lynch. Uh, and he's just getting the, it'll take a sample out the cask. Right. He'll just, he's pouring it into the glasses there to give us a wee mm. taste, so. That's great, it's going everywhere, it's fantastic. Much, straight from the cask. That is straight from the cask. Okay, um, whilst that's coming straight from the cask, let's just talk about this. This, this is probably, uh, I was told earlier on, maybe a month early coming out of the cask. Would that be right? It's, this it's, is work in progress? It's work in progress, yeah. What we've done with this one, uh, we started off with bourbon barrels, as yeah. most Lafroigs usually do. We've then double matured it in quarter casks, mm -hmm. and then we're now uh, giving it a third mm -hmm. uh, oak finish in these European oak sherry butts that we got from Yeah, This is pretty, ex this is pretty exciting. These, these are from Jerez. These are, these are sherry butts, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. So that's giving it a different texture, different flavour again, should, drawing something out of the it, wood? It should do, yep. Uh, what, what, it, what it should do, it should just add more of a kind of a sweetness, sherry influence to, okay. the, to the... And there should be a real deep body in mm. this one as well, mm. with, the, with the three sets of fresh casks. OK. So, how exciting is it to be taking something straight from the barrel and drinking it? It's something that people get the chance to do. Yeah. It's, it's, it's organic, no, isn't think, it? I think if most of the people watching this programme tonight could do one thing at Lafroy, be, be that here. would be it. Just what James did there. <laughs> Trust me, as soon as, as, soon as this programme is over, I'm going straight to that barrel, <laughs> <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what's it tasting like? What, what are you getting out of this? Well, well that's one, because I get a... It's because it hasn't fully... F well, it's, it's, not, mm. it's not fully finished in the shape. There's just a initial gentle sweetness, mm. kind of like raisins, I would say, with this one. Uh, it becomes more spicy with the, the three lots of oak, and then it starts kind of feeling dry, and then the, the, the smokiness kind of envelops it all again. 
I've got a question that just came in, which was about uh, these, these barrels. Uh, were they used for Oloroso sherry? Yes. Yes, they were. Yeah. Okay. All right. Martin. What, what is really stunning here is that, I mean, it's a 58 or 60 person, maybe, 60 ish. And it, it, it's really, it doesn't um, harm your nose. You know, really find it really sweet. I've got this uh, creme brulee. My, my, <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> nice I, creme I love brulee. my food, as well, you know. Well, <laughs> creme brulee, I reckon it's vanilla toffee. Yeah. Toffee. That's pretty close, my, yeah, though, between yeah, the two, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and in the back, it, it's, it's again, Lafrec comes back with this, what I call my, the animal uh, uh, aromas, which is, I have a feeling that I have a, a cow not very far from me with a mix of straw and this creosote, which is sort of disinfectant to clean the, the, the stable. But, but the cow, it's, it's very warm. It's, a, it's, a, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's an image which is uh, really, uh, good image from the country uh, uh, something nature something true and on the on the on the on the palette uh, it's again the, the smoothness to start with this peach syrup peach in syrup something like that and again the 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 burst of spices which comes behind and lingers on your tongue um, and the the wood is here but never never overwhelming never um, yeah. and it's one of the things we try to do, I try to do with this is, you've got a balance with quarter cast between American barrels and the sure. quarter. We wanted to do something different to it, to add a different twist to it. And the different twist is in this. Now, we're not calling it sherry finished or anything like that because we don't believe in finishes. We're calling it triple wood because there's a slight dryness, a slight um, tanginess that comes from the European oak. Uh, because it's a much harder oak, it's a slightly tang flavor that comes in over and above the Laphroaig flavour itself, that antiseptic. Kind of like bitterness, it? It's a slight bitterness. Okay, whilst you're tasting on that, there's two questions that have come in. Uh, one, certainly for you, Robert, uh, which is, as we've just seen, it's just come out of the barrel, the butt. It's come out of wood, mm -hmm. straight being drawn, straight into the glass. What will you do to that whisky when it comes out of the cask, when it goes into the bottle? Will you do anything to it, or just leave it as it is? What happens it to it? It depends. Um, if you look at the Carchés, for example... That was Neil in Derby, exotic Derby, by the way. The Carchés is bottled at 55%. Right. The actual vat strength was about 58, but mm. that was just slightly strong. Yeah. It really depends on the whiskey, and we'll decide on what we think is the best. Mm. Um, when we come to the last one... We're doing that in just a sec. Uh, that's a different... That's, a, uh, as I say, a different kettle of Laphroaig. But it's really what the best strength is for the whiskey nowadays. Okay. I'd love to meet up with it in two months or three months' time. To Me see, too. Yes. Yeah. To see, you know, if a, if a sherry has just given a little more mm. resin sure. flavour. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in mid-August. Mid we'll, we'll check it yeah. out together. Yeah. I'll be back. Um, we've got another one from Arve, who's in Norway, who said, when will the new triple wood be launched? What strength will it be bottled at? And what price will it be? Um, <laughs> There's three difficult questions. We're going to bottle it in about three months' time. Okay. John, it's in terms of uh, what strength it'll be and what well, price? The strength will be the best for the, the flavour profile. I think initially it'll be getting launched in for duty free in China. Okay. So they'll be getting it initially, but yeah. I'm sure we might reserve some for friends of the flag. I think you should do. I think you should indeed. Uh, we've had so many questions internationally, we can't possibly ask all the questions all over the place, but we, we, we thank you very much indeed for all the questions that we've had in, and we're, we're trying to get as many of the questions as we possibly can, but it's going to be impossible. We could be here until tomorrow morning, which wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. <laughs> we'll have a lock-in. We'll stay here forever. <laughs> OK, uh, but thank you to everyone for the questions that we've had so far. Uh, we're moving on to the final uh, whiskey down here, and uh, this one is... In fact, if you look on the front here, you'll see this doesn't even have a label on it, a proper label on it. Did the printer run out on this one? No, or... I brought that from the bottling hall today when I came across. Why is it so, so new? Because it's only just in the bottle yesterday. Um, wow. With one of the, this is one that uh, we brought down to 43%. Mm -hmm. uh, because we think for this, it's just about the right strength. And this um, is, and this is car, car Chase 30 year? 30 year old. Okay. Um, John can tell you the, the, the story about this because it's strictly for Friends of Laphroaig. 